New tonight at 6, a Colorado teenager is on his mission to teach his classmates about the possible dangers of vaping. As Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski reports, it's now common practice in some of our metro schools. To most teens these days, smoking is gross. But vaping... Jeweling is the most popular one. Or jeweling is cool. Looks like a flash drive. I see students all the time, you know, taking a hit. This Colorado student sees it every day. Even in class sometimes, since it's so concealable. At his school. So just hiding it in their sleeve or hiding it and then, you know, blowing it out in their shirt. Mountain Vista High School in Douglas County. I go into the bathroom, I see it. Can I hit your jewel? What flavor do you have? What Abhi Bhandari sees every day inspired him to do something. If someone wants to do something, you know, they can do it. You know, it's, it's their decision, it's their body. They can do what they want to do. But what I do want to change is the amount of awareness. Avi's crusade to make a change started from an anonymous survey where he asked his peers about their tobacco, marijuana, and vaping use. He found one in five have tried weed or smoking, while a whopping 40% or two in five are vaping. I was just astounded, right? And so that's really where I was like, okay, I need to do something about this. Which led to this blog. What are the bodily harms of vaping? What encourages students to vape? What does high school vaping look like in Colorado? Vaping is a really, really big problem. Is part of an epidemic playing out at high schools across the state. A recent CDC study found more than a quarter of Colorado high schoolers are vaping or using E6. And almost 6% say they use them often. I've heard it almost consistently every time. I started doing this because I thought it was a self safer alternative. Dr. Ann Wagner with University of Colorado Hospital says e cigs aren't the safer alternative to smoking they're sold as. They're still taking nicotine in. There's still a substance going into their lungs. It's still bad for their health. A lot of students don't even know that they just believe that they're doing something really fun, but then, you know, they end up getting addicted. For this 16-year-old, going on 30. I just want to make a change, you know, and um, if that makes me wise beyond my ears, then that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. His goal is not to be his classmate's nanny. He just wants to help teens understand what they're putting in their bodies. Helping the school with uh, making a poster to kind of outline bullet point different uh, consequences of vaping uh, long term. Before they ever hit that jewel they think is cool. Know what you're doing and decide, you know, look at, look at all the harms, look at all the benefits and decide from there if you still want to do it. Now, Abby also told us because these e-cigs are so discreet, teachers have a hard time catching kids. The other big thing here is all of the vaping flavors. You can get mango, mint, even cream brulee. Flavors that teens say taste so good, they assume it can't be that bad for them. Even though, Mark, we all know that's simply just not true. And please, he is being proactive, Jen. He is. He is. He's doing a lot. All right, Jen, thanks very much.